So welcome to uh, another review, um, it's Paul from Enigma Vapors and today I am reviewing, or this evening I am reviewing the SX Jewel Box by Signature Mods which is this little beast here. Little beast I say, it's actually quite a big beast but it is a beast and it's certainly something that uh, works my go to mod every day. Um, so yeah it's a mod that I love um, but before I start I just want to say a few thank yous, I want to say thank you to Farhan uh, who runs uh, Signature Tips. Um, or signature mods, it's the same company uh, for producing such a great mod. Um, so I'd like to say a thank you to him um, and also I've had a, a few chats with him as well. A great guy to deal with, excellent customer service. Um, he was happy to basically answer any questions when I was when I was actually looking to purchase um, in, in the past. Um, obviously knows his stuff, so yeah, big thank you to him. And also I'd like to thank you, uh, say a big thank you to my, my team as well. Um, certainly, uh, there's a lot of uh, creative um, design work that's gone into uh, to uh, to uh, a lot of stuff recently. Um, you might have noticed uh, we've we've posted up a, a few a few basically um, modifications uh, to to our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. Um, so yeah, big thank you to the team that I've got behind me. Um, you know, big shout out to you guys. You're doing a great job. And also to the subscribers that we've got on board now as well. Um, our subscribers have gone up quite a lot. So. Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll, keep, we'll try and keep entertaining you. Um, so yeah, um, what I want to do is I really just want to basically get this uh, review really done because uh, I've had this mod for three months now. It's something that I have been intending to do. Um, I've been learning how to use editing software, so I'm not uh, not that great at it at the moment. I'm certainly no way, no way. Yeah, uh, well, I certainly wouldn't class myself as being a, a reviewer uh, by any means. But uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there slowly, guys. So just be be patient. Um, so yeah, um, what I want to do is, is come on to the uh, the SX Jewel box. Um, I love this mod, I really do. It's a mod that I didn't want to sort of like take out and about with me because it cost me £190. Yep, people could say yeah, it's pricey for a mod, but for, for a mod of this quality and the amount I use it, I use this more than any mod and it's about to sold off uh, probably about three or four mods um, after buying it because I just thought I've got no use for them anymore. So yeah, I've got, I've, I've really got um, in my collection now. I've got my SX uh, Mini uh, M Class, which is the single version of the SX Jewel, and I've also got uh, my IPV3 Li, which is oh yeah, it's hiding there. So, so those those three uh, are base. Well, are the are the regulated mods that I use um, the majority of the time. Uh, I have got a Smok M80 uh, that is, I've, I've actually can't find it at the moment, but yeah, for a rechargeable unit, Smok M80, uh, I do like it. I've got a firmware version 6, so that was once the uh, the chip was was uh, sorted out on that, so I haven't had any issues myself with it. Um, but those those three mods uh, are what I use uh, for, for regulated uh, when I'm out and about and all the time, and uh, on a daily basis as well at home. So yeah, um, what I'm going to do in this review is said this is about the the SX Jewel box, uh, but I need to talk about the SX Mini as well at the same time because uh, both of these are basically using the same chip, the SX 350J chip. Now, for anyone who doesn't know about the 350J chip, um, when I first heard about it, well, when I first heard about the SX 350 chip, um, I think it was released last year sometime. Um, you know, I heard it was a good chip and didn't really know too much about it. Uh, at the time, I think I was using, um, you know, things that I'd say things like the IPV uh, Mini, uh, you know, the, a few different sort of devices really that, that I'm not saying that they were good for me at the time, um, but um, once I got a hold of the 350 uh, chip, um, there's, there was no going back for me from there. Uh, so yeah, I started off and I had, I got myself a, an SX Mini um, and absolutely loved it. I, I loved it that much. Now. It has got temperature control on there. Um, it's something that I do use now and again. I wouldn't say I use it, I'd say I probably use it about 10% of the time if I'm honest. I think temperature control, as Phil Pisado has said, is, is in its infancy at the moment. Uh, but it does work, it does work. Um, 
um, and certainly Yihi are, are producing several updates all the time and this is using the latest test firmware so it is using the t titanium temperature control on there it started off when I first got it um, running at 60 watts I think that was the limit um, uh, on it um, and then basically the release now the update is, is 75 watts so that's what this is currently running at, at the moment um, <clears throat> And yeah, the book boost. I mean, that's really what I love about this chip more than anything else. The book boost on it. Uh, book boost, I won't go into too many technical details on it. If you go onto Yee's website, you could probably see what book boost is about. But effectively, it's literally injecting a load of, um, a load more sort of boost in the power. Um, it's either boosting the power or reducing the power. Um, so, so if I set the, say, to set, set the, the uh, power to 40 watts output, um, you know, if I put it on, say, soft mode, there are basically four modes. Uh, there's actually there's four, no, there's five modes now. There's there's actually eco mode as well um, to conserve your battery life. But um, yeah, what it's doing is it's literally ramping up, um, you know, uh, to to that set set power power level, or it's um, it's ramping down. So 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 um, it's it's just it's a very very clever chip. It's 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 hard to describe how it how it changes the vape, but for me it really does change the vape. I use a lot of twisted coil builds, these Clapton builds, um, things like that really do benefit from it. Um, that's my 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 experience anyway. So um, coming on to the the uh, Dual SX box, I love it. I it was one of those box box mods that I got hold of and. I didn't want to take out and about with me because I thought, you know, if I lose this, I am going to literally cry. Um, but it, I literally, I can't stop taking it anywhere with me because I just, I just love the vape on it. Um, it's just a personalised vape. It's said with the book boost there. Um, it's 150 watts as well. Um, you know, it, it gives it gives that chip a good run for its money, and it is a true 150 watts. Uh, well, I believe so anyway. Um, I haven't got the testing equipment, but uh, compared to some other mods, um, that really was hit hit hard. 150 watts on this may you know compared to the 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 uh Segelli, uh 150s um they're not in the same league at all you really do get a, a proper vape from this so um so yeah what i'll do is i'll have a quick vape first i think just to sort of get things kicked off so i've got a clipped uh dual captain build on the uh, velocity here um I, I could have built it a bit lower and i think i will do next time but 0.43 ohms and um, i'm going to run this at full pelt so i'm going to set it to 150 watts now interestingly when i put this on the ipv3 li um i wasn't able to get it above 125 watts without maxing out that 7.5 voltage limit on this um it's actually reading saying it's, it would output at 8.03 volts um so it's quite interesting that i don't know how that's quite working because technically it's actually outdoing what that is um and that is i'll talk a bit more about that chip in a minute but uh, this is what it's about today so yeah um set to 150 watts uh, I've got fully charged batteries in here so uh, what I'll do is I'll just give it a quick uh, quick, quick trip first um, and uh, I shall use some of our juice again I do love custard I can't I just love the stuff and um, there is actually another custard I will mention uh, that I got hold of and um, that I tried before and oh my god um, I love custard uh, Mike Turner um, Son of a Biscuit is, is one of my favourite custards I've had off him, but uh, there was one that he's just produced called Walk the Plank. It's a raspberry custard. I'm gonna I'm gonna struggle to let that steep. I'm quite a patient guy, but I'll be honest, mate, that is absolutely amazing. <laughs> I had a quick blast on it before, and um, I was actually uh, I was actually on hangouts with uh, with one of our uh, one of our team, and um, and you know I thought well I'll just go for it. And I was literally saying, listen, James, you've got to try this. It is absolutely amazing. So, thumbs up to you, mate. Absolutely amazing. So yeah. Anyway, getting back onto the uh, getting back onto this. So um, okay. So the velocity. It's quite a new sort of uh, attitude to me. I mean, I literally just knocked up a quick build in it the other day. Um, I said I could have built it a bit lower to get the most out of it, but um, I'm getting there. Um, so I have to bear with me with this part of actually putting the putting the top back on in the right orientation to make sure they get the airflow through the coils All right, that's okay that's where the coil should be okay actually let me just fire this first okay i'm going to i'm going to put a hold this back because of the spitting that i know is going to about to happen you'll see there's quite a bit of vapor so so that's set to 150 watts in standard mode and uh yeah let's have a vape and just see what it can do I 
love my clouds. I do love my clouds. Um, I'm not. I'm not a. a okay, you know, we do produce um, cloud liquid. Um, that's just giving me a, a massive hit. <laughs> I'm on three milligrams. Um, that has given me a, a massive hit, and hopefully it'll. Uh, hopefully it'll sort of uh, yeah draw my attention more towards what I should be doing with this review. But um, but yeah, um, I love my clouds, and uh, and this this box is capable of like really kicking out the power now i am interested to see whether he, he uh, update the the uh, power on it because the 350 um sl chip uh, sorry the 330 v sl chip that's in the uh sorry i'm just have to clear some of the uh, the vapor here uh the 330 um v sl chip that's actually in the ipv3 now that's that's 200 watt capable and it is 200 watt capable well i, I said i haven't got the equipment to measure it but you know, I have been able to get it up to 200 watts, building around sort of 0.25 mark, um, and it does hit hard. Um, so I can't see any reason why that chip could outdo that one because this one is a more advanced chip. So um, yeah, so uh, it'd be interesting to see whether there is a, a further update on the on the power side. Um, it doesn't. I don't say it need. I, I don't think it needs it, but it'd be interesting to see it if it happens. Um, I think it'd be a welcome addition. Uh, titanium control, um, temperature control. I think I think will be coming out for this. It's certainly out for this at the moment on test test uh, firmware. So this is firmware updatable through the port here. So uh, yeah, uh, I think titanium control will be will be out coming out soon um, on temperature sensing temp temp for this. So uh, I look forward to that. So yeah, um, let me just uh, put a different tank on. Now this is the tank reviewed uh, a couple of days ago. It's the uh, smock uh, smock tank. Uh, the um, I always get this wrong. It's the TFV4. I keep saying TVF4, but TFV4. I need to try and remember that. I need to try and come up with some sort of um, anomaly. Uh, sorry, uh, anagram for that to try and remember that. But um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to whack that on. Actually, before I do that, let me put something else on. Um, okay, the Limo V. Uh, sorry, Limo Drop. Um, this is the Limo V1. Now I run a twisted uh, build in this, and um, I just want to show you basically a bit of output boost and okay so 40 watt standard okay 40 watt standard on this okay I'm going to put book boost on now so I'm going to set it to powerful plus mode 40 watts again powerful plus mode You may have noticed a bit of a difference of vapor there. The flavor is a lot more intense with the Powerful Plus. It's because I think what it's doing is it's ramping up that that twisted build, um, you know, uh, that twisted sorry coil um, to, to 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 the to, to, to a high, higher temperature very quickly. It's literally you hit the hit the button and that's it. It's there. Um, when I've used twisted builds in the past on other on other uh, mods, um, basically uh, you know it's taken about sort of. Maybe three or four pulls to actually get that coil heated up to, to produce that flavour. That is instantly there. So that's something I really like about it. So um, <clears throat> yeah. So what I'll do is I'll just whack the uh, the smock on there, and you'll see on some mods because it's a twenty-four point five millimeter diameter base on it. On some mods it looks ridiculous. On this mod it looks amazing <laughs> with the big. Uh, it's the uh, Fat Daddy connector. No overhang at all. And I'm going to take this right up to my favourite setting for this at the moment, which is 110 watts. And I'm setting it to normal mode, standard mode, sorry, on this. So, let's put the vape on this. Open up the airflow a bit more, a bit more cloud. So yeah, and it's just it's very versatile. That's that's you know that's one thing I like about it. There's various other uh, points that I like about it as well, and I'll go through them now. Um, the build quality is amazing. It really is. The craftsmanship is amazing. Um, it feels solid. It's built solidly. 
Um, when we go down down close, I'll show you. You know, I'll go through a full breakdown. Um, you know, with you um, to show you exactly what I mean by that. But just little little thing, attention to details. Uh, sorry, detail on here is is amazing. Um, Farhan, the guy who produces it, has done an amazing job. I mean, I actually approached a couple of uh, modders uh, because I like I love this this chip so much. I wanted a dual. Uh, battery version so that I could have the extended battery life um, that was involved in that and also um, I wanted to be able to get up to 120 watts at the time and it's now 150 watts for the update but that's what I wanted um, and I did approach a couple of uh, uh, modders in the UK about it and I was literally told that um, they wouldn't really sort of want to touch the, the SX350 because uh, for various reasons um, they were having issues with, with um, you know trying to get it right and everything and uh, software updates and a few other bits and pieces but I've had absolutely no issues with this at all and this is this is from batch one uh, serial number 15 three months no issues at all um, and uh, it's, it's worked perfectly temperature sensing works perfectly on it um, there's no fault at all I've had no issues at all with a you know a, a new a new concept basically so yeah absolutely you know a big thumbs up to, to Farhan for doing that um, the machining on it is is perfect. The feel of it is great. It's a it's it is a big mod. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you in comparison. Uh, so we've got the SX uh, Mini M class, and we've got the SX Dual Box there. So you can oops, trying to level them out. Yep, you can see there's a difference there in size. Weight wise, interestingly, there's not that much difference. And that I think what I'll do is I will weigh them at some point and I'll actually put up on, on screen what the weights are but um, with the batteries in but really weight wise there's not that much difference at all um, in fact if anything swap hands it's very very close I think I'll, I'll be interested to see what, what the uh, weight difference is there but um, yeah um, so it's got a really nice grip to it as well at the front so if, you know, fingers grip round very very well Allardyce finish, so it's a very grippy finish. Paintwork is superb. Um, I've dropped it a couple of times. Sorry for that, but I have. I'll admit to that on camera. Um, and literally, I've had a, maybe a couple of tiny, not even a couple of tiny scratches actually on the bottom. Just you know, um, it, it, it's it's basically yeah, it, it's it's really sort of uh, it's very uh, durable. Um, and um, yeah, it just it feels it just feels great. It just really does feel great. And I said I didn't want to take it out of the house at all. Um, you know, I'm aware that yeah, it is. You know, it's a it's an expensive mod. It's high end mod. Um, you know, I think the retail at the moment is one eight nine ninety nine um, plus shipping. Um, but the you know you get with that you're getting um, not only a, you know a unique mod out there. Um, you're getting uh, you know something that really hasn't been done in the UK. Well, it hasn't been it's the first in the UK. Um, and um, and yeah, I absolutely absolutely love it. I take it everywhere with me. Um, <clears throat> Uh, and also, as I said, it's you know you, you're paying for. Um, I said the the machine and the time that's gone into it. Now, each batch um, takes uh, four to five weeks to complete. Um, and I think it's a batch of say forty to fifty mods. And and the base what what they've done is once they're manufactured by CNC um, machining, which is to accurate to point one one mil, um, you know accuracy. So that's how how accurate you are on on the machining there. Um, you know, it's then hands It's literally taking the taking the side and you know handcrafted from there. So uh, you know, and then and then QC tested after that as well. Um, so every mod that goes out that door goes through you know a lengthy, quite a lengthy process really uh, from from you know initial production of the actual box um, right through to uh, to uh, to actually going out um, to the customer. And not only that, um, I'll be honest, I've spoken to Farhan a few times and his customer service is absolutely amazing. He's happy to answer any question. Um, I had a couple of concerns before getting one uh, after speaking to those other modders that I spoke to. And, um, and, and you know, he, he put my mind at ease. And you know, when I got the mod, it was it superseded anything that I'd ever, ever expected, really. So he really did exceed my expectations on it. So uh, a great, a great mod. Um, buttons feel great. And again, we'll we'll talk about that in the the uh, the down the top down video uh, section. Um, and uh, yeah, that's I think that's about it really to say to say for up front. But yeah, it's lovely, great display. Uh, the gravity sensor works perfectly as well, flipping around nicely there. To either side, I don't know if you can see that. So 
So yeah, it's it's great. Um, yeah, it works perfectly. And sorry, one final thing as well, which again we'll we'll go into the uh, when we go into the top down top down uh, video section. Um, yeah, look at that. That is good craftsmanship. Well, it's perfect craftsmanship. I can I can't think of anything that can be done better. So uh, yeah, a big things up there. So um, let's have a vape, and we will go top down. Okay, so we're going to do the top down part of the review now. Um, I just wanted to show you the box that I received the mod in. I said I've had it for about three months now, been using it every day, but I thought I'd just show you the presentation and the amount of work that's actually gone into it. So it arrives in a beautiful uh, wooden box with uh, dual SX by Signature Mods written on the top. If we open it up, we have a silver panel that basically states Signature Mods, dual SX Signature Mods, um, and basically serial number number 15 so it's matching uh, my serial number of my unit now I went for the black finish and um, there are the nine finish uh, sorry nine nine colors available um, all in anodized uh, finish and um, basically yeah I went for the black one and let's just take it out okay so you'll see straight away on top we've got a fat 10 um, a big sorry fat daddy 510 connector on the top and basically um so yeah i mean it'll fit any sort of assay on there i've um i've currently using at the moment uh the smock tank which i'll just i'll pop on in a minute so just so you can see the sort of like you know how, how it sort of like fits without any overhang it's, it's amazing um looking around the mod makes it stand out really good grip on it it fits your fits your hand perfectly you got your fire button there so it's a nice position um, and it feels feels great the finish itself is is very grippy as well um, I have dropped it a couple of times I will admit to that um, and literally is maybe a couple of tiny scratches on on the bottom where I've done that but apart from that is um, you know literally the, the paint job is holding up very very well indeed and uh, basically yeah it's just it feels great I mean it's aluminium billet aluminium um, and uh, it just feels feels really good um, <clears throat> now that we've got the buttons themselves um, we'll just go over that very quickly they're basically got a really nice click to them they're not rattling so they don't rattle at all which is something that some mods uh, have annoyed me in the past when they've done that um, and there's a reason for that basically there are o-rings behind each each of these uh, buttons uh, which basically stops that rattle um, so it's a really good idea by Farhan to do that and um yeah it does feel really clicky they feel great you know really solid and great and uh, they're made of stainless steel now the thing that makes this really special um for me uh well one of the things that makes it really special for me is basically the fact that um, when i want to change my batteries it is as simple as this there's a slight um slit at the bottom here and all i do is literally put my finger fingernail in there and pop the lid off and there we go and it could do a bit i could do a bit clean to be honest i need to give that a bit of a sort of polish round but it's a beautiful finish i mean you can see the craftsmanship that's gone into it um basically you've got signature mods inscribed at the top here the chip is uh running along down the side there it's not covered but i've had no issues with you know sort of juice leaking onto it or anything like that at all um and you know i've had no issues with that at all and basically um yeah the, the batteries are so easy to change i mean literally i'll show you how quick um so i'm using the efan uh, red tops that have just come in and pop one battery in there and one battery in that okay and you'll see straight away that the he he logo comes on and then basically all i do is to finish off is literally just the lid on like that the magnets at the top are really good very strong there's four magnets in each corner and they just click straight in straight into place now there was a ribbon that came with this um to start with um but i basically i lost that ribbon but um i know that all the mods now have an attached ribbon in, in place there to remove your batteries but to be honest i've had no issues myself with with um removing them they come out very easily and they go in very easily as well now just on, a, on, a, on that note i just want to compare compare it to the sx mini which i talked about before the sx mini i love it's you know it's a 
It's a great mod. It's you know single battery, um, basically a single battery version of this. Um, so that's a side by side comparison there. You can see there's a size difference. However, weight wise, that is actually quite heavy. Um, I don't know. It's obviously the materials used. Possibly, well, it must be the materials used. It feels quite heavy um, compared to that with two batteries in. I'd be interested to sort of like see the weight difference there, but it's not too much difference in weight, believe it or not. Um, but the thing about that annoys me about the FX Mini was well, two things. One is the paint job on it. Um, this has been mentioned by a few reviewers, um, and I thought I got away with it because I do use a silicon sleeve with mine, where it slots over the top, and I've been using that every day um, and basically making sure this is clean, is juice free, and I'm starting to see paint wear. And this is a mod that I've looked after very very well so again I'm, I'm one of those people that unfortunately has a uh, mod that has an issue with the paint um so yeah uh, so the paint itself is is sort of peeling off and the most annoying thing about this i think this mod for me is basically the uh having to remove the battery um they've got a system basically in place where you've actually got to use a coin um or set of keys or whatever to literally unthread your connector at the bottom and then basically to thread it back in, it's you know putting it screwing it the other way. Now, the issue I've had, and I'm sure many people have had this issue, is basically the threads seem to get caught when I'm certainly when I'm actually putting the battery uh, cap back on. The thread seems to get caught between two threads, and that's it. It literally takes me about five minutes to unjam it, and I've had that happen several times. So they could have made that a lot better, personally. That's why I think personally anyway. I mean, it's something I've got used to, and I've, I've sort of like worked out a way of, of doing it, um, you know, quicker basically, and with less chance of that that um, sort of double threading happening, uh, basically by um, sort of like reverse threading first and then threading back again. But it is a pain. I'll be honest, it is a pain. So uh, again, that could be improved. With this, it's literally, as I said, just literally change your batteries, snap. That's it, and it's solid, and no juice is getting through. Um, the machining is that precise on here. Uh, basically, you can see that bit of overhang. There's like so many t little touches to, uh, t sorry, attention to detail on this mod. It is unbelievable. Um, the machining, the CNC machining, is you know 0 0.1 millimeter accuracy on this, so it is just perfectly machined. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, what we'll do is we'll go through some of the uh, the menu sort of systems here, um, and basically, so. There's five, it's same as the he, um, 350 uh, J chip in the, the SX Mini, um, apart from the fact that this is now, this is actually 150 watts. Um, this obviously, the SX Mini, um, it's now 75 watts, which is good. Um, I think when it first came out, it was either 50 or 60, I can't remember. Um, I certainly have updated it a couple of times since then. The recent release, uh, temperature control with it, um, uh, sorry, for, for titanium wire on there. Uh, so that's the latest update. I'm running the test version at the moment, um, and uh, yeah, but it is limited to 75 watts at the end of the day. So I mean, this is yeah. Don't get me wrong. I love my SX Mini. I take it out and about with me all you know everywhere as well. Um, it's certainly you know a smaller mod, uh, but I am limited to you know what I can what I can put on there and what I can use it. Um, you know for uh, but yeah, it's you know it's still a good mod. Um, but this this for me is a cream of the crop. So um, yeah, so we'll go through the menu system. Uh, basically, it's similar to the SX Mini. Uh, scrolling through, if you, if you use an SX Mini, you'll basically be very at home with this straight away. Um, basically, scrolling through five different memory settings. Um, so scrolling through like that, and then what you can also change as well is, um, sorry, I'll go through what's actually displaying at the moment: wattage, um, how much any watts there are uh, that I want to put through into my ATI. Uh, basically, your voltage of your batteries um, in series. Um, and then basically uh, there's a battery bar there as well. Uh, so a visual indicator as well when your batteries need to be uh, sorry, changed and, and charged. Um, we've also got the voltage that'll be going through into the ATI at that select um, uh, wattage. And also the resistance of the ATI there is red. Uh, joules basically is the amount of, um, basically the amount of power consumption used. Um, you can actually, if you really wanted to sort of test your battery life, I suppose you could actually monitor that and record, uh, you know, sort of how many sort of like joules you're getting out of, out of, uh, you know, a pair of batteries. And uh, lastly, which is very important, and this is why I mentioned before, this is the book boost modes. Now we've got, you know, Eco, um, which keeps it under 50 watts, but could conserve your battery life. 
We've got soft mode, which basically um, is, how could I put it? it? I'm not gonna go into the technical details. I know Phil Basardo and a couple of other reviews have covered the, the technical um, details on, on, the, on basically the output. Um, you know, and how it works, um, output voltage, but, and I'm certainly not an electronics engineer or I, I know basic electronics, but you know, I'm not gonna go into th that too much, but um, basically, yeah. So, I mean, we've got soft, which is, um, it ramps up slowly to, to your desired wattage setting. Uh, basically, we've got standard, which hits, it hits that power setting straight away. We've got um, powerful, uh, basically, that um, basically sort of, ramps it up a bit higher so say if i said it's a 40 watts it might be hitting about sort of 50 maybe maybe sort of 60 and then sort of dropping back down to, to the to the desired power level and then we've got powerful plus which really does hit like an absolute steam train and uh, that actually ramps it up to um i mean i wouldn't i can't measure the uh the the wattage uh, rating but i think you know sort of maybe if i said it's probably about 50 watts you're probably getting about sort of 75 maybe 80 for that that sort of like second or whatever burst and then basically it drops down now that works very very well with twisted bills uh, twisted coil bills um clats and wire um you know anything that's basically requires that extra power to heat heat those coils up quick um you basically get in that flavor burst or, or whatever um you know directly on, on, on one push of a button uh, this this mod hits what it says um so yeah so what i'll do is um screw a uh, an assay on now um, I've got several at these, but I think I'll, what I'll do is I'll actually put on, I'll put on a black one to match the velocity. Uh, so I'm going to put the velocity on. And this is a collapse in building this actually. Um, so yeah, you can see there it, it matches. You know, it's a nice match for it. Um, I said 20, uh, I've got, you know, the smock tank I've had on here, 20 and a half, 24 and a half mil. And that doesn't overhang at all. So it looks, it looks, it looks perfect on it. Yeah, I've got the um, got the velocity on there at the moment. Okay, so when I push the button, and sorry, one more thing to mention there, as you see, because I flipped the mod over. What it's actually done is it's actually reversed screen round, so it's got a gravity sensor in here, the same as the SX Mini, and it works perfectly. So what I'm going to do is basically. I'll just hit it there so it's 0.3 uh, 0.43 ohms and again it's reading perfectly it reads that on my, on my um, resistance meter and uh, basically yeah <clears throat> it's set to 40 watts at the moment so that'll be firing at 4.14 volts now that obviously with a clapton build I'm going to want to go higher than that so I'm going to set it to 80 watts in standard mode so that'll be hitting at 5.86 volts and what we'll do is we'll take that up front for a vape in a minute so yeah, I mean, that's that's basically uh, what all we're going to cover. Um, the final thing, actually, one thing to go into is just um, a bit about a bit, a couple more things. Uh, to lock the the, the mod, uh, basically it's three clicks. So it's in lock there. So obviously you can't fire it. And so unlock three clicks again. One, two, three. And to go into menu settings, uh, it's one, two, three, four, five. And you can see here we're in adjust now. Basically, what I do is to cycle through, you just push the power button down. So we've got to go through all these actually. Um, okay, so sensor, sensor, I've got sensor off. Now sensor, basically, when that's on, basically means that if I tilt the mod to either side, what it'll do is it'll automatically adjust the, uh, the, the basically, the, the, the power setting or the dual setting, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. Um, I choose to have it off. Um, just because I prefer to just basically adjust it using the, the up and down buttons. Uh, and then here we've got adjust, so I can you know, obviously adjust it this way. Um, exit obviously just goes back into the menu, sorry, back into the uh, out of the menu. So I'll leave that off. System on, so you can turn the system off by pushing down or up there. Link, link now, link is a very important thing. Link basically is this, this um, port here, this USB port. Uh, basically you plug it into your, your uh, laptop or your PC um, and basically you can update it. Um, now Yeehe are bringing out several updates. The Yeehe chip here, I'm running a test version at the moment, um, which is basically the same chip, it's the SX350J chip. Um, I'm running the, I can't remember what version it is, but it's running the test version at the moment, which basically has uh, boosted it to 75 watts and it's able to now uh, use titanium temperature control so that's something that's new that's come out so i'm presuming they're going to be bringing out titanium temperature control on this 
and it wouldn't surprise me if we do get a, an update to uh, push it higher on the power settings. I know before that you said they wouldn't like to push any higher than 150 watts, but to be honest, um, you know, you've got the IPv3 Li, uh, IPv3 Li here, which is running the SX, um, let's pull that down there for a second, the SX330 VSL chip. Um, now, this is a, how could I put it, a, a cheaper chip. Um, this is 200 watts. So if they, this can do 200 watts, there's no reason I don't. I can't see why this couldn't do 200 watts. I say I'm not an electronics engineer, um, so I wouldn't be able to tell you why they've delayed on that or if it's going to happen. I, it's a speculation for me, but I think it will happen. So um, yeah, so basically um, this is for updating. So there will be updates. So I know that originally the dual um, battery mods were, were rated to 120 watts, which is basically double what this was. It was. I think it was 60 watts when it first came out. So yeah, we're already up to 150 watts and they've introduced eco mode on there um, and, and also powerful plus as well. Actually, I think that that got introduced on there as well. So there are, as I said, it's, you know, it's evolving. It's good to see that you are actually updating the firmware and they're producing these updates because obviously thinking about aftercare with, with the product. So it's got that longevity there as well that, that you know, that really does stand out. So anyway, um, just finally, yeah, what I want to talk about really is just go back into this menu. So I'm going to go back into the menu again. Um, so that was link um, and display left or right, just flip the display around. Now, okay, power and joules. So joules mode, this is the temperature control mode. So basically um, at the moment, this is just uh, for NI200, but I, I think they will be bringing out a titanium one. And uh, basically I set it into joules there. So I can adjust the, um, basically the amount of joules going through. And again, I won't go into too much detail here because it has been covered by other reviewers. Um, but yeah, you know, it's very easy to adjust. And then basically um, set the temperature as well. And you can set that in Fahrenheit and in um, Celsius. And it does go up in one um, Fahrenheit increments there. And I think it's the same with Celsius as well. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's basically, uh, it's, very how could I put it it's complex you know you you really go in there and sort of like change your settings around so um yeah temp sorry celsius let's switch into that actually and see what happens in celsius see we just double check on that okay what i'll actually do is i'll actually show you the stats here as well so let's see what can take it up to so it's going up in one uh, degree at a time up to 300 and right down to let's see what it goes down to Sorry about this guys, it's taking a while, we'll skip through it, but uh, 100, okay, so 100 to 300 Celsius. If I go into Fahrenheit. We go from 200 and what, 212 Fahrenheit. I think it's about 600, it actually might be five, seven something, let's have a look. I normally set mine to about 400, 420. Well, between, I'd say between 380 and 420. But we'll go all the way up to the top and see what we can do. Okay, 570. So yeah, 570, that's the maximum on that setting. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I've got a, an NI200 coil in here at the moment. I have run temperature sensing coils on there. Now the target resistance, as mentioned before, is 0 0.065 for the uh, SX350J chip. Um, so basically my builds uh, for temperature sensing, I try and aim for 0 0.07. Um, and and it works really well um, at that range. It does work at other ranges as well, but it does work better at that range. Um, but certainly pre-built coils, um, you know, you might have to sort of um, basically the ones that are built for the DNA chips um, that are sort of you know 0.15 ohms um, that sort of resistance level. They will work um, on this, but I tend to find that I have to reduce maybe the temperature down a bit to get that to work and. I said I'm not going to go into details. It does it does temp sense in a different temp sense in a different way or test temperature uh, temp, sorry temperature estimation as, as Phil Posado described it perfectly really. Um, you know it, it does do it in a different way and it's it's pulse uh, pulse width modulation. Uh, so you can actually hear it sort of like pulse and feel it pulsing. It's it's a different type of vape. Um, but I'll be honest, I use it in temp sensing now and again. But really, I got this for the book boost and and the power there really. So um, that's what I got it for. But it does work perfectly. Works just as well as the SX Mini. So um, so there we go. So I'm just going to turn this back into uh, power mode again before we go back up top.
probably just skip through it there. There we go. That's it. Power mode. Okay, that's it. And then exit on. That's it. So we're back. Okay, so I think that's about it. I think I've covered everything uh, down below, and uh, we shall take it back up top, and we shall have a, a vape. Okay, so we've done the top-down video section, and um, I want to apologise for using the word basically about a million times. I actually just reviewed that video, and I apologise for that. Unfortunately, um, I'm I'm quite pushed at schedule at the moment um, because obviously I run a uh, you know a company. I'm a chemist, and you know my my job is is literally uh, mixing and production. Um, you know, um, I haven't I haven't got that much time to do reviews, so unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to edit that out and whatever. I'm just going to let it run how it is. So I just want to apologise if you hate the word. Basically, do not listen to that part of the video. But um, <coughs> pardon me. But um, yeah. Um, so what I want to say in, in in summary, really. Okay, so I love the SX Mini. Um, I've mentioned the issues with it, paint job, and the and the uh, the the threading on the on the um, the bottom battery connector there, and also the fact that it's limited it's seventy five watts, and as well as as well as uh, having to change the batteries quite regularly with it. Um, this corrects everything that was wrong with that. It is a bigger mod, uh, but as I said I haven't got a problem with that. I've I got sold off um, half mods, you know, once I got hold of it. Uh, because I, I realised quite quickly that I'd never, never need another uh, mod. Well, certainly at the moment, I, I wouldn't want an, another mod. Um, that's the one I use all the time. If I'm out and about, and I could put it a sort of, you know, a bit concerned, I might drop it somewhere or lose it somewhere. Then, then yeah, I might, I might take my IPV three LI out as well because I do, I do rate them as being a, a good, a good mod as well. Um, and uh, you know, I, I do use that quite frequently. But certainly, this is my favourite mod by far. And in fact, it's my favourite mod I've ever owned. Um, so uh, you know, I, I will definitely give it that. Um, so yeah, let's talk about a bit about um, you know some some more details on on the pricing now. Um, uh, there was a video a review that went up quite recently, um, and uh, you know, and and I felt I, I watched a review and it is an expensive mod. It's you know it's one hundred eighty nine pound ninety nine ninety nine uh, plus shipping. Um, you know that that's shipping worldwide. You know plus uh, you're talking about. Eleven pound shipping worldwide. Um, I think, um, and then basically you've got. I'll just mention basically again. Sorry about that. I'm just gonna shoot myself in the head. Um, but yeah, um, you know, and then you know, sort of like a oh, recorded delivery over here. But with that, you're getting the mod. You're getting the aftercare there as well. Twelve month warranty. Okay, it's three month warranty on the actual uh, the actual port itself. Uh, the the uh, update port because that's what you unfortunately. Um, have decided you have to be very very careful if you when you're updating just to make sure that you don't put too much pressure on that port and then that's the only time you use it anyway um i've had no issues with that again i've updated a, well I've updated a couple of times and um yeah it's uh it's a great mod um you know if someone turns around and says well yeah it's you know it's on the high sort of high price side that's what you pay for quality you do pay for quality at the end of the day, and um, and 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 I said I've had no issues with it at all. It's my favourite mod. I've sold off enough mods to basically. Right, I'm just gonna have to have a quick vape and. <laughs> Blow that word away. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, so it's it's you know it's it's amazing. It's uh, it's I love it. I love everything about it. Um, so yeah, um, so price wise, yep, it's one eight nine. Um, I haven't got an issue with that. I think it's well worth it. I've certainly paid pretty much uh, near enough. Um, in fact, the SX Mini I paid uh, one hundred and seventy four. So for an extra an extra twenty pound, I could have got something that's, as far as I'm concerned, is is a lot better. Uh, <laughs> So uh, if I, unfortunately, if I'd known that beforehand, I probably would have gone straight for the SX Dual Box. But um, you know, in hindsight, well, hindsight uh, could save us a lot of uh, a lot of hassle in life. But you know, it's one of those things you learn. But as I said I, they both have their place for, for me anyway. Yeah, um, they're certainly a bit more portable. Um, but I, I said I can't resist ever taking this out with me all the time. So uh, it's all of it. Um, so yeah, I just want to, uh, and then the other thing I'm sorry, I just want to mention as well is uh, I've been to Farhan. He is planning on setting up an aftercare service as well, where you pay a, um, a, a small, a small fee. Um, he's going to give me the figure, but you know we're not talking. We're not talking a lot of money. But that would basically give you a 
give you a lifetime warranty. Um, I'm going to need a lifetime warranty to say, say that word one more time. Um, yeah, so that lifetime warranty uh, will, will cover you for accidental damage. Um, they'll replace everything in there, you know, anything that goes wrong. Um, so yeah, it's basically like it's, it's an insurance cover, um, insurance cover uh, for it, and I think that's a really good idea. It's, it's something that I've never seen any, any other sort of mod maker offer really yet. Uh, but as I said, if there's any issues with the you know the chip, if you want anything more modified done to it, engra I think engraving is something that he's looking into at the moment. He's just um, I know he's spent a lot of money on it on, a, on an engraving machine. Um, so uh, so yeah, you know, getting personalised engraving done on it, it's it's going to be possible to do. So. Uh, so yeah, um, you know that company has come a long way. I, I have heard of signature tips beforehand, um, and uh, I think I've actually got a couple of their tips as well. Uh, but then you know them going into the mod market and producing uh, you know a, a mod of this quality uh, straight away is just it's amazing. I've, they've done an amazing job. So uh, you know, I so said congratulations. Um, you, you've done a really good job there, and I certainly will be. Uh, looking for uh, for any other mods that you produce in the future but for that for the moment for me that is that's 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 my favorite mod and that's that's as far as i want to say you know that's that's all i say really that sums it up um it is my favorite mod i use it every day and i love it so um i just want to say thanks for watch, watching guys um it's a bit more of a lengthy review this one but i thought i deserved it because um it's just something that, that i can't put down it's one of my favorites and um yeah i'll leave it there so thanks for watching guys um subscribe to our youtube channel and uh there will be uh, more reviews, uh, videos, uh, sorry, tutorials, um, and also just general vlogs going up. Uh, my team behind me as well. We're um, you know sort of working together quite a lot at the moment, trying to trying to get a few things out there. Um, and uh, yeah, so you'll be seeing some of our uh, some of the Enigma team uh, making an appearance as well. So uh, so hopefully you'll you'll enjoy them. We've all got our own quirks. I'm probably the most geeky out of a lot of them, I think. Um, um so we have got some uh, funny characters in the in the group so uh yeah so we'll be getting some videos out um uh, so, so watch the space and um yeah as i said vape on uh vaping is the future so uh, let's have one more cloud and let's uh, leave it there